Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Rooks and I'm, this is Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're actually be doing Marvel's The Defenders and we're doing episode, um, episode 2 of Season 1 and it's called Mean Right Hook. And I got my notes right here, ready to go. So we're starting off with Murdoch goes to help someone because um, he hears a gun um, being um, loaded and everything and they're going after some kids who are trying to steal something. Anyway, so he hears it and he goes after the people and then he um, breaks up the fight and knocks out the person that um, was trying to uh, kill the kids for just stealing some stuff, which it's not great, but he is trying to help save people. So that's the way I took it. I'm not sure that's actually what happened because I was kind of looking and writing at the same time. Anyway, you have Trish Walker who's doing Trish Talk who has a radio show. And they're talking about the um, the earthquake that happened, and then she was talking to a seismologist on the phone and saying, like, usually that happens, like, like, long into the fault line. This one was only like, 300 feet down, and then it got cut off. And then um, upstairs, uh, management told her to move along from the earthquake situation, and they went to a different story. So it kind of threw her off because it was weird that that even happened in the first place. Then you have Misty um, goes to the apartment where Jessica Jones is at and found the C4. And then Jessica um, was leaving and took evidence and Misty tries to go after her, but Jessica just kind of disappears and leaves. Then you have Cage is helping people. Um, he actually saved this old lady, I think it's in this episode, I think, from the earthquake, but a lamppost was about to fall on her. And he saved her. I think that was in this episode. It might have been the last episode, but sorry. If that anyway, I thought it was really interesting either way. So then you have... Um, and then Rand and Colleen talk, and they're trying to follow a lead. And then you have Murdoch is super mad about what he did because um, he's trying to stay away from that type of life and he just wants to be a lawyer. He's trying to move on. So he's kind of frustrated with that at this point. And then you have... And, um, Alexandra has listened to an orchestra, and the orchestra is actually super, super cool. And she actually gave like a donation and stuff. And then Madame Gal pops up, and they talk about the hand business. And then turns out um, there's a Cumberland Wall, I think, and it's blocking them from completing their plan. And so Alexandra said, like, it's not a wall, it's a door. And we got to find the key to unlock the door. And so that's how they leave it. And then you have Jessica is doing some um, more investigating. And it turns out, like, all the paperwork she's finding and stuff is all the assets are removed and put in something else and removed and put in something else, going back all the way to 1820, which is super weird. And she then she runs into Hogarth, um, Tatsur, and then uh, we cut to Foggy and Murdoch talk at the diner or the bar. I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest with you. And the, the hostess is kind of funny whether it's, oh, look, Mr. Rich on Two Goodness Place is back in this bar, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, and then he gives some case files and it's like, hey, if you want to be a lawyer and not go into the direction you're going in, you'll be too busy to actually do that. So he's trying to help him out a little bit, which is nice. And so then, then Hogarth um, talks to Jessica some more and tells her to walk away from the situation. Like, you don't know what's happening. And um, Jessica just basically tells her to shut it. I won't do what I want to do. And then Cage talks to, um, talks to someone and gets information. He gets to, like, some guy who thinks he knows what he's talking about. And so he gets info on that. And then Rand and Colleen go to this shop, and it's, it's like a katana-type shop. I'm not sure how to explain it, really, but anyway. So they're trying to find the people that do it, um, that make the katanas, and turns out they're all dead in the back room. And, and then he sees a picture of Kun Lun in, um, on the wall, which is weird. It's like um, a hanging, you know, one of those like, handmade pictures and stuff. Anyway, that was on the back wall. 
So, and then we find uh, Cage finds the guy he's looking for, the guy in the white hat, and turns out he's trying to send the people off and stuff, and so he's trying to follow the people. Then we have uh, Hogarth talking to Foggy, talking about Jessica. If, it's like, we need to be notified if Jessica gets in trouble and how it doesn't come back to our office. Because she's more of a freelance and then on payroll, really. And he's like, okay. And then uh, Jessica goes back to the apartment and then Malcolm is held hostage by the missing guy. So the guy that's been missing in episode one, he turns up and puts a gun to Malcolm's head and he's trying to like tell her like hey calm down and like if you hurt him I'm gonna hurt you way worse then we have people are trying to set the dead bodies on fire but um, Iron Fist stops them along with Colleen and then we have then we have Electra comes in after Raymond which is the missing God's name. And then uh, cuts Jessica across the face and gets her all bloody and stuff, but she gets away. And then Misty arrests her. Then you have Cage versus Brand because um, Luke Cage does show up because he knows one of the people that are trying are in this job and wants to help him out and tell him not to you know, be arrested and stuff. So that's Cage and versus Rand. It's kind of pointless for a while because you know Luke Cage, because he wasn't Jessica Jones, it's basically like almost indestructible. And he's doing, and Rand, Danny's doing all these punches and stuff. It's not even working that great, which I think is funny. Until he uses his iron fist and builds up enough chi and then actually clocks him in the face and like hit, and shoves him against the wall. Then we have Alexandra tosses this uh, just stick and he got captured. And then we got to Misty is trying to find out what happened, but. Jessica is not really saying anything, but right when he, she gets close to saying something, Murdoch says to Jessica not to say another word, and he is her attorney. And that's how we leave this episode. Um, this is actually a really good episode on how everything's kind of building up and how they're starting to pair off. You have Danny Rand and Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and Matt Murdoch, which actually I really like. So I'm going to give this like a A-plus episode. Still kind of slow, but it's building more steam. So I do like how it does kind of build up, um, build up the anticipation of everything. So I really do like that a lot, and I just like all the, I just like how the character developments are still being fleshed out and still being um, broadened, and we're going more into people's characters and stuff. So I really do like that a lot as well, and um, that's pretty much going to do it for me. So I really have nothing too bad to say about it. Um, I just feel like. Um, it could speed up just a little bit, but I think the reason why they're doing that, like I said, is to build up anticipation of it and to just get everything um, teed up and ready to go. And I think it's going to all come out in like a like two or three episodes, I feel like. I don't know because I haven't seen the entire thing yet. So anyway, um, that's going to do it for me. So if you like this type of video, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And just comment down below on what you think of the episode. Do you agree with me that you think it's going a little too slow? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do, are you just kind of in the middle of eh? Um, I'm interested in uh, your thoughts on that. And just subscribe for more stuff. That will be coming up soon. And I'll see you on next video. And I want you all to have a very awesome day. Bye, everybody.